Hello there. So you just shot your cinematic masterpiece and you exported it in these settings on DaVinci Resolve and you had the correct bit rates between 35,000 to like 45,000 kilobits per second. And it's in either an MP4 or MOV file, H.264. And it looks beautiful on your computer when you play it back. It's, you shot the whole thing in 8-bit log because you're using an older camera, but it still looks great because the dynamic range has been great for a long time. Once you upload it to YouTube, it looks like crap. What went wrong? Why do my HD videos look so low quality? Well, today I'm gonna tell you what went wrong, why YouTube is crippling your videos, it's not your camera, <laughs> and what you need to do to fix it. Why does my full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution video look like garbage on YouTube? So after watching a, another YouTuber's video, Marcus Pix, who does a lot of camera reviews, and he's been in the industry before, and he's played with big, expensive cameras, but he also loves to highlight these tiny vlogging-style cameras that are easier to use. Here's what I like to use. Little, tiny, small things that are fun to use. But these, to me, are dinosaurs. These are ridiculous. One of his videos he was talking about, he records most of his YouTube channel on the RX100, which is a Sony camera with a little one inch sensor and I believe he only shoots 1080. Here's what the footage looks like indoors and here's what the footage looks like outdoors. It outshines even the big giant clunky ones. This thing is amazing. The quality of this camera is so good, I always use it only in 1080p. All these YouTube videos you've been watching me on for the last two years are shot on an RX100 in only 1080p. I don't even need to shoot 4K. This is 4K right now. It's overkill and it will overheat in a little bit, but again, I only make videos that are five or 10 minutes long. And it looked great. The dynamic range, it was sharp. Um, and his videos do look great. So I'm like, I'm gonna do some testing because this camera I've had for quite a while. I thought it looked pretty good. It has 4K. And at first I thought the 4K only had standard stabilization. So it was a little bumpy here and there. But when I put it down in 1080, it had active. Now. I think I might be wrong because I see 4K also has active, so I'm going to test that later. But this video is being shot in 1080 because I'm, I'm going to show you what you need to do to make this video look better. Because if you export it as 1920 by 1080 full HD under these settings, when you upload it to YouTube, it's going to use an encoder called the AVC1, I believe. And that gives you a lower quality resolution. There's a lot of pixels that get muddy and crappy looking. And I'm like, <laughs> so at first I thought it was a compression, like a bit rate issue that I exported too high. I'm hoping my shirt's blocking most of this wind. It's kind of testing my mic too, to see what's capable. So at first I thought it was a, like a bit rate problem. I exported too high a bit rate and YouTube was thinking, oh, too much info or something, I don't know. Um, so I exported it with the correct bit rate, like 40,000 kilobits per second, and still same problem. I'm like, what the hell? So I learned, if you right click on the screen of the video and go for stats for nerds, which hurts my feelings, YouTube, I'd have to be called a nerd to find out this information. Might have to sue you for psychological damages, but <laughs> once you go to Stats for Nerds and you see the encoder that they used, you'll see either a ACV1 codec, or you're gonna get the better codec called the VP09. That's the one you're aiming for. Now, how do you get that? Well, any video you upload over the resolution of 1440, you're gonna get that VP09 codec. 
and a better quality video on YouTube. I've done it a couple ways. A, I just export my videos in 4K and let DaVinci kind of upscale them. And even if you have the pro version of DaVinci, it actually has a super scaler. I don't, I don't know, it's not that much bigger of a difference, I don't think. And it looks fine when I upscale my 4K video like that. But the other methods I'm gonna do going forward, I think, just because I just wanna keep hitting home and reiterating that 1080 is still beautiful. Like, I still think back to when I plugged in my Blu-ray or my PlayStation 3 and put in a Blu-ray movie for the first time. I'm just blown away how vibrant the colors were and it like looked better than anything I watched on television, but that's, you know, that's a whole nother topic of why television compresses the crap out of your image and stuff. So 1080 is still very usable, very capable. It's mostly the HDR that we're going to experience now with Sony. Now I'm in the shade. Is, is it good on this? Still the X3000 dynamic range is it's the best action vlogging camera yet. <laughs> they put up all these nice Christmas scenes in this park. That's kind of neat. So anyway, what I'm going to do going forward, I'm going to export my 1080 videos that we're shooting today on with the resolution of 2560 by 1440. That way, it's not, you're not really losing quality if you're upscaling from 1080. <laughs> um, and you can still watch it at 1080 on YouTube and it'll give you just that one step up option to watch it at the 2560. Uh, <laughs> but it still looks great. And that's the point I wanted to make, but I also wanted to explain to you why HD video looks like crap today on YouTube when it really shouldn't because everything you watch on your computer if you play it back on there or if you watch it on a Blu-ray player on a, on a Blu-ray disc it's still beautiful a beautiful image anyway that's my rant if you found this helpful give it a like share it with your friends that are still recording on older <laughs> cameras because you can still get super good deals on very very good cameras that are still only HD, right? <laughs> um, but for content creation on YouTube, I think that's a steal that you can use this little hack to get away with. But anyway, leave a like, subscribe, go watch this next video that YouTube says that you're gonna like. Tell me if they're right. Later. <laughs>